Hindi kaya pwede sana Pero hindi na But with the jury system She can do this Come to speak Hindi natin susundin Ang American system Or British system Or Canadian system Pwede ba mo yung system siya? Jury system na siya The principle of which is We can watch and judge By our own peers Yun na lang yung importante Yun na lang yung importante Bakit magkakaroon ng hang jury? Kasi meron kong yun natin sa, sa UK, wala na ang yun natin majority. Ito ang ipopropose namin. This is what we're going to propose. So, manibawa, pero well, ang jurors ba? So, when about 30 years of service, now he's in prison then, no? So, mamukun ang siya for 30 years. When about 10 ang nagsabi na guilty. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was very important. Thank you very much. I know there's still a lot of you who would like to uh, ask your questions or share your thoughts or views. But uh, let's just announce, we're, we're, we're very limited in time already. But let's just announce that the fact we have there our freedom space. Okay, that's where we can air out our views, your opinions, or whatever message you may have. We could have it recorded. And in our following activities like this, those recordings will be uh, presented. Okay? So thank you all for your questions. And at this point, I uh, would like to invite everybody for a follow up with our guests. Could you just come in front, please? Back for the follow up. After the follow up, we will continue with our program. feelings you could express.
Can we ask everyone to go back to their seats, please? So that we can resume our program for the afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Kasi ang problem niya is It can be modified It can be modified Miski yung sinasabing Unanimous decision Depending on the Probably depending on the Yung law na ano na Hindi yung particular part of the crime Heinous crimes probably Which would penalize Death No? Meron na kami ano draft ng jury law. Ah, dito for that. Ah, ganoon ba? Oh. Hindi na. Kinaan ko sa tabay si na lang sa 7 million signatures. Ah, really ah. <laughs> ganoon ba? Hindi na. Bigyan mo naman ako. Can I can I ask you ano yung draft? Ay hindi ko na kay Marlo, na kay Marlo kami. Ah. Si apa kata sama mo si di you meet him before or right just now? I met him last ah last week lang oh no 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 last last week ng December kasi pumunta ako sa Nueva Ecija kasi pumunta ako sa iba ibang places para kung ano yung laki-laki nang nakukuha ng ano mga congressman nang gastusin sa ano hindi meron na kami hindi usually kasi we encounter ang resistance dyan pag mga lawyers kasi they would say it took them ten years Study law. Kahit na pa. Kasi lawyers will still be there. Kaya lang yung hinahimigyan yung dihangin ka ng democlas on the abuses. Di ba? Ano yun yan? Kasi they are not afraid about the abuses. Wala silang pinto. Wala silang enforce. Yeah. Hmm. Ano naman? Masyado ba ako? Ina-attack na si Milba nilang ina-attack Hindi naman siguro You're just a guy to explain Hindi ba? And at least is That would be a good input for them Kasi Siyempre Siguro they would think Second time Why not? But a modified one Di ba? Kaya namin ayaw idaan sa Congress Dahil imumodify nila Yan ang sabi ko eh Alam mo I was talking with Kit Gilatis Sabi ko sa kanya Kit alam mo The movement for Jury system Is not ordinary It is subversive in nature Subversive Because it will rock the vote The whole vote will rock Time will come When there is a big resistance From those In power They will They will crush this They will crush this Kasi Ano eh They will not voluntarily Relinquish Yung privilege na yan Diba? Kaya Yan tayo magkakaroon ng Yun Kaya sabi ko eh 
to pursue this, and I sa US siguro niya, that there was a time when people really like it. There was a need for an army. Kasi good if that. Let me realize the the sake of justice. And justice. The government must not consider most. I think that realize me, no? Justice. Ah, okay. Ibig mo sabihin ba, ang justice sa atin will be subject to cost limits? Tapos hindi. Meron lang, may budget na meron din kung propose na propose. Pero maganda yan. So, you want it twice, you want it. Mother by system. Magkaroon ng choice. Depends o jumay. Pwede, di ba? As a compromise. With dalawa yan ang available. Kung sino yung complain na. Kung sino yung complain na. Kung saan yan gusto yung complain na. Pili yan. Pili yan. Pili yan. So, gusto yung plan system. Plan system. Kung gusto niya nga nga. Trial by jury. Jury system. But, let it be placed as part of the system. Do you know what I saw today? I never saw such horrible situations with children lying on the street, breaking and everything in my home. I don't know what I saw today. I don't know what I saw today. I don't know what I saw today. I was born in the beginning of the past. I don't know what I saw today. The problem is the problem. The problem is leadership. How many billions of pesos and even dollars? Place them in the land. Where are they now? Hello, mo. Hello, mo. Hindi naman ang nag-abuse ang role of this. Hindi naman ang Muslim din. But it is the leader of the Muslim. Na? Hindi din ba yung tao? Ayaw mo. Okay, one more. Now, what makes me very sad is that six years later, six years after I wrote it, nothing changed. Neither so, if I translate it from Tagalog into Ignorance. But why? Why things don't change? I always remember something what I read from the great Russian uh, Nobel laureate, uh, Alexander Solzhenitsyn, you know, the one who brought out to the world. Because he contribution any amount to any amount with you. And I cannot forget what he wrote there. He can contribute to the law. From once in Dago up. You can contribute one thousand each other. That's not one thousand. Just one. One you cannot improve a country by moving out of people and moving into people. Because, to say it in a very brutal way, there are no good people and there are no bad people. Alexander Solzhenitsyn continues, I quote, he says, even in the heart of the best person, evil has its best. 
and we might get a local model of the form. Okay? So much introduction. Just let me introduce the system itself a bit in detail. Uh, I have to apologize if many of you might know already what I say now, but uh, I, I want to explain a little bit what is in there and why it is so interesting under our own ideas of necessary system change. Now, the Pazmor government shall be parliamentary. Its political system is democratic, allowing its people to freely participate in political processes. The Pazmor government shall adopt an electoral system suitable to a ministerial form of government, which shall allow democratic participation, encourage formation of genuinely principled political parties, and ensure accountability. This is a quote from the draft of some more basic law and the form. Yes. <laughs> what are uh, these? Now, three basic questions. What is parliamentary form of government? Where is the difference to the presidential form of government? And what are the advantages and the dangers or the challenges of the parliamentary system? The parliamentary form of government. The citizens, the voters, elect the parliament as a fair representative for governing the country. Therefore, there is no similar, uh, let's say, not not the three powers of the state are not similar. In the parliamentary system, the parliament is the highest body of the country. The members of the parliament are the representatives of the people, not the chief executive. And they are accountable to their voters. And now the interesting thing is not only at the next elections, but also between the elections through political parties. That's the substance of the parliamentary system. The country's chief executive, the head of government, is elected by the legislative branch of government, by the parliament, and that means he is accountable to the parliament, not only at the moment of his election, but continuously during his term of government. That means he needs the support of the majority of the members of the parliament to govern and to stay in office. He can be forced to resign by the parliament at any moment between the elections. So, what are the advantages of this system in comparison to the presidential system where the people elect both? They elect directly the president and they elect the representatives of the parliament. The first advantage is there's an accountability of the key decision maker much more concrete than in the presidential system through the direct relation between the voters and their elected representatives. The system allows more citizens' participation in democracy than in the presidential system. In the presidential system, one time the president is elected, he is in office, and I don't know, I cannot vote exactly on something for the GMA said, uh, as a president, I can do that decision. And you can get them out of office, of course, through impeachment, which was tried as Estrada, and still would say it was not a constitutional way, it was not a constitutional way. I don't want to judge this, but anyway, it is not normal. It was not a way to hold somebody accountable when he is elected, because he claims, I am a representative of the people, they elected me. You don't have to hold me accountable at all, I am accountable to the people. Yes, this is what you are going to always say, and it's connected to the system. They are, yeah, but how, what can they do? What can they do? Wait for the next elections. And then, it comes from top of this year in your own system, then in the next elections, anyway, you cannot run anymore. So they cannot even, cannot go to the country. After the election. So, as a presidential system, as a parliamentary system, you can work accountable to achieve that activity at any day, at any minute of this term. 
the accountability of the key decision makers between the elections. You know, there is a relation between the voters and the representatives in the parliament, which is much more close than to the president, because this representative is coming from the region, they know him. They can make real noise and travel here. And different from the president here in your country, this representatives in the parliament can vote for the election. And so, if the voters are not happy with the politics of the president or of the chief executive of the parliamentary system, they go to their parliamentary uh, representatives and they tell him or her, go and tell the prime minister or the head of government, we do not accept that. And the representative of the parliament, of course, he will convey this message because he wants to be re-elected the next time. And they don't let the chief executive easily get out of that situation. So there's an higher accountability of the key decision makers between the elections. Now, the third advantage is there is no governing or legislative deadlock or blocking between executive and legislative power. As the executive power is created and supported by the majority of the parliament. Look what is going on in the United States, where they block each other all the time. Um, of course, even the president is more powerful than like here in the Philippines. He can overcome the blockage from the parliament because he has the power of the president also. All the members of the legislative are dependent from him and they have to control. The courts also are dependent from the president because budget comes from the government. So, but in general, they have the problem with the presidential system that not automatically the majority is with the chief executive. So they block each other and have problems with each other. But there are also challenges with the parliamentary system. It's not easy. There can be big problems. The first challenge is how to secure the stability of the executive power against changing majorities in the legislative power. If in the parliament the majority which elected the president change, and they say no, how, how can the government have a stable governing? I mean, making laws and having its policies implemented if the majority in the parliament can change at any day. And how to implement legal and long-term policies of the administration that the legislative majority can intervene at any time? It's not easy. The answer to these questions is the parliamentary system needs genuinely principled political parties. Otherwise, it ends up in crisis, paralysis, corruption, chaotic fighting, and breakdown. You can see it in some parliamentary systems. This was what the Italy was through, and some other countries. They didn't have real principal political parties, they didn't have strong party systems. And so the whole country had big problems with the governments going down every some months, no continuity of governing, and so on. And therefore, because the fathers of the Barcelona were basically all corrupt, they knew it, they understood it. Therefore, they wrote a free and open regional party system shall be allowed to evolve to the free choice of the people. Towards this end, only regional political parties, duly accredited by the Barcelona Electoral Office, may participate in the parliamentary elections in the Barcelona. Before we heard about the need to have an electoral system which supports generally principal political parties. So, in the Philippines, we have this traditional political parties. Uh, so, we heard about before. They are uh, dominated by patrons who finance it, who control it, and the party members are not really party members. They don't have functions, they don't control, they support the general democracy. If this would be the case in Barcelona, the parliamentary system there might not work, might break.
take down this suit. Now, what are generally principal political parties? Let's raise this question. It was already explained a bit by Professor Rufus before. Um, we asked what functions do political parties have in modern democracies? We have to answer five questions. Who integrates the different interests of citizens, of groups, of sectors into political concepts under broadly accepted values and rules? Not civil society groups, not business, not the administration. We need a political society with parties to do that, to uh, aggregate the different individual interests into a group of interests under broadly accepted values and rules. The second question who selects competent and committed candidates for the elections? And who will represent the electorate in a committed and professional way? Again, you need political parties to do that. If this unfairness is, the dynasties are just pressure groups. You are not sure what type of representatives you get. Next question Who educates interested citizens and active stakeholders in political opinion building to be able to play their role as democrats? Who is doing this political education with communicating with the citizens on a local level to make them part of democracy, not just with one electoral act every some years, but continuously? Of the parties again. Who connects the citizens and their requests, needs, in ideas, problems with the political decision makers between the elections? Parties, political parties, is their function. And who, and this is not very important, who holds accountable the elected representatives of the citizens in the legislative bodies, in their personal performance, and in their political actions between the elections? Look around yeah. it, ask the big parties, the Liberal Party, UNA, and the NPC, the Liberal ask them to go to the political party. They may be two or three pages, sometimes more than one of those things. Nothing will clear, nothing will clear. Yeah. This is where the biggest political party is 
to an electrical system that again holds the problem of the more basic law, an electrical system that shall allow democratic participation and ensure accountability of public officers primarily to the government youth and very interesting is the voice for the political against for the national level and the Philippines encourage the formation of gender parties. So what type of electoral system would that be? The electoral system of the Barca the draft text, the way the law is discussed out like that, but this is the draft, says the parliament shall be composed of at least 60 members unless otherwise provided by the parliament. Who are representatives of political parties elected through the system of proportional representation, those elected for single member districts, and to reserve seats to be represented in the second level. This is confusing. We read just the text. They say 40% district seats, 50% party representatives, and 10% reserved seats. You see it in a picture here. The man wants a more basic law, which has been in the draft, which has a mixed system of direct election party lists, and they are separated. So they suggest that 24 Representatives, 24 members of the parliament, are directly elected in their districts, in their electoral districts. This is, by the way, exactly the number of districts we have in the world today. So, why would it not? So, let me. Okay, now and now they have half of the 60 to be elected as representatives from the regional list of generally principal political parties to be elected in accordance with their language and votes. So, thinking for example, there has to be parties running there. Each one of them would set up their list of the majority of the representatives of the party. And if this one, for example, gets 50% of the votes, out of the 30 lists which are distributed to the proportional part of the parliament, out of the 30 representatives that would get 50%, which is 15 of them, elected from their lists, the first 50. And then, following the separation of the different parties, so they could get their party list representatives from elected in the Christian Democratic Party. Some explanations to the system. This draft thing for the Barcelona basic law says nothing about the need of district representatives to be nominated by an accredited Christian political party. This still has to be regulated in the Barcelona election laws, like many other issues. And then second, the accredited political parties follow a very certain democratic position making mechanism to decide on the sequence of the candidates on their lists. There is still a discussion about if people should be allowed to vote just for single candidates in the party list, but this will completely contradict the system of representation of generally principal political parties and so on. This would open up again the money to personalize elections and the money elections and therefore they only can hope that this will not happen. 
and the development data. This candidate for the list of the political parties will be 50% of all members of the party. But, of course, in any case, if the candidate for political parties will not have the possibility to field their candidates for the districts which represent the this platform, which are elected in the districts. And that means that the political parties will have a dominant role in the future of the world system. What does it mean? Also, it means that the platform is a the dynasties Congress all the end of the number themselves with the parties all the end of the and at least they would not have the dominant that they have today. This is why it becomes so in a as a model because the Muslim part of Milan now, of course, is the part where lawlessness and the rule of patrons and warlords is very strong. But we have to admit that the majority of the provinces, as it was said before by one participant here, have similar problems. Maybe not as strong, but they have these problems. And there are also the uh, research results of the policies and recommendations of the management that more than 70% of the the members of the House of Representatives belong to political dynasties. So this is a general problem. And here in the market, in the future parts of all, they address it with the modern electoral law. I personally would imagine even better ones, but this is a big step in the right direction. Because in order not to become victim of the war laws and of the families and dynasties and again, because this was what happened with the arm after they got their uh, autonomous reach of Muslim in the hour, Chairman Ashton and his father, Oprah, that it happened that they became the playground of the dynasties and war laws and of any kind of wrongdoing and violence. So, the MIFF people are clever enough and understand well that the same can happen to them if they don't come up with such a clear system. And this makes it very interesting as a system in general for the European Now, the relations between the Barcelona Parliament and the executive branch of government as they are regulated in the draft of the Barcelona Basic Law, which is also very interesting. The chief minister of Prime Minister is elected by the Parliament with a majority of votes of all its members from among its members. Must be a member of the Parliament. Chief Executive Prime Minister must be a member and it is elected as a majority. If no majority in the first round of voting, the run of the election between the two candidates is highest number of votes in the party. Then he appoints the deputy chief minister among members of the party and other ministers. Two thirds, this is now where the accountability becomes very concrete to serve the whole members of the parliament and force the chief minister and his cabinet to resign at any time by a vote of no confidence. In that case, the new election of the parliament will take place within the other time in the race. And now, again, what I said at the beginning, it's interesting that in a time where the president refused any discussion about constitutional amendments and changes. They accepted to allow the reorganization of regional autonomous region there, the area. They allowed to apply a system which has been requested already for many years as a reform system for the whole country. Because the request of the MLF was very clear and the experts, even the experts from Maradon, I discussed with some of them, admit that if we do it in the presidential system, we will follow the same trend where the arm was in between the Chinese streets and the Mongols, but that's much that we're continuing and there's nothing to be won. 
So that's very interesting. Now, from here, for the Centers of Human Alliance, I want to say, okay, if there are reservations with one or another point, I think it's good that this moment is important and really is important because it can help to get this discussion about constitutional changes out from the theory to the practical ground and you have a role model on that. Now my second point, and this will be part of the discussion is after all this, that I am very happy that we have this event in this because I am seeing two things which prevent in the last 15, 20 years uh, success of all these democracies, what they have to learn. They have two processes of overcoming the patronage system. There were two problems. One problem is the different groups did not unify. Each one was fighting for themselves. And sorry to say, but as a foreigner, I can see that there's a strong, uh, let's say, attitude of entitlement. And uh, we have to come together, unify, because the groups are seen basically as the same. We have to go together. That's the first thing, which is very important. The second thing, which is as important. This is the way you cannot win the battle in a few years of society. You have to organize this alliance uh, in a way that it really influences the elections. And how can you do it? First of all, and uh, nationally, which is the political party, which is fighting for them. Uh, and second, as you want to make this alliance visible through media, not only here today in the Adila area, but have 30, 40, 50, 60 events all over the country, in the big cities of the country, and bring it to the media. Let it be every week in the national media, in the newspapers, in the TV, radio stations, so that the potential candidates for the presidential election of 2016 get aware that this is a democracy. There are votes, there are citizens, there's a big democracy all over the country which asks for this system change. Then, if you get really know, if you get visible in the next round here, because you don't have more time, then you will be able as a center of the democratic alliance to question and to demand from the potential candidates to tell you will we as president if we are elected will be pursue, will be push through this system change or not? Yeah. Will we break down I mean, the patronage system I mean, the through constitutional yeah. changes? And you say, if you say yes, we have to promise it. We might support you. If not, we will not support you. Not support you. you get power, you get influence. This you don't get when you stay out of the bridge today, when you just and the democracy is a difficult to unify. Therefore, I think this could be a turning point today. This is the establishment of an alliance. If you are able to bring it to the media, if you are able to bring it all over the country, then you might have become strong enough to force the future presidential candidates to take a clear position and say yes or no to your requests. And this one's a whole case, this is the next month, it will be decided if you push it or not. And it will become, as I said, a very interesting practice model for the whole life. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, especially to the people. Uh, 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 uh
please be seated as I present the table. If there are any questions, Mr. Commander is already accepting them. Anyone? Great. Oh, yes, sir. Gentlemen, with the inspector. Ang process ng nag-repose in this field. Hindi meron ka ng tip. I really don't know if it's a question. I think I only have six more parties at once. Now, the how consistent you know, develop the rules and other parts of the first world, not only through decades, but at least a hundred years, can to be made immediately work in the spirit of location, especially in Mindanao, work with remote parts like Tawang Tawang Sulu. Where people are easily bribed or intimidated, if not by the warlords, by the imams. I believe in the law of, or the cross law as it is. Theoretically, it's very beautiful. My question and my brother, without in totally accepting it, is in the implementation. How? Can things develop over so many years to make work in even only one year? Secondly, only 10% of seats in the parliament will be for non morals How are we sure that the 10% will not become voiceless tokens? Just like an impeachment process, for it's a thing of numbers. Maybe it should be 51 49, so there's a close fight to win the majority. But 90 versus 10, better than 10 than 10 at all. They become voiceless in practicality. It's always the herd that moves. And whoever has the goal makes the rules. So I'll, I'll stick to those two questions first. Thank you. Um, let me first answer the first question. Um, well, I think in the future of Asa more area, we do not know yet what exactly will be long for this area because um, there will be the first side and so on. But, there are some areas where people are quite in weather already. I personally travel regularly at least one time per month for some consultancy and some work to the Bahu. I also travel regularly to the north of Madinah now, the Yerevan area. This is a, one of the tribes, one of the Muslim tribes. It's originally an IP tribe, they were Muslim, they were Islamized. Um, because we have projects there from my integrity and job project as you there. And I have to say there are quite a lot of highly educated people. So it might be true that some parts, especially in the island provinces, the three island provinces, are still very, very well. But in general, I would say with the exception of some of the tribal areas, I think tribal areas, it's not as dark as we imagine. The people have radio there. They start also to use, the young people start to use social media. And I think um, there is an archival place. Um, so, what is also um, answer to the second question. We have a very interesting experience that that first day I still was sitting together with 12 
uh, elected leaders of the Centrist Democratic Party of Luxembourg. They have an organization uh, which is at the moment uh, active and, and organized in Maginanao District 1, Maginanao District 2, in the now Cluster District, and in the Park. The interesting thing is that these 12 people are highly educated uh, people, yes. most of them are still not all of them, and they are really and start to organize their own party as an inclusive party for IP, Christians and Muslims. So uh, they are inviting leaders from the Muslim, uh, from the Christian uh, business community. They are inviting IP leaders to join the party and to take positions. So it's not that from the 60 seats in the parliament, 54 seats will be covered by Muslim. And it's definitely sure that, like this Central Democratic Party, also some other parties will uh, include minorities into their list. This is also the mechanism of the parliamentary system. The parliamentary system will need majority for the party. And of course, hmm? if you only vote with the Muslims and another party votes with Muslims and Christians and Zemini in the respective areas, the other parties will win. So they are forced to integrate whatever is possible into their overseas and into their parties. So I can foresee a situation in which, of course, the uh,
Tapos kasi yun yung comment. Saan na yun si Lava? Ay, it was part of that group also. Pero tayong mga marami tayong members din yan sa people yun yun. Kaya last minute, ikaw na ka. Objectives, principles, and thematic positions of the Alliance. The objective of the Alliance is to hold centrist democratic orientation in the community society. To advocate centrist democratic solutions for the problems of this country and to gain political power on national and local levels. So, claro, claro, no. We are entering into politics because politics is, according to our hope, is one of the highest forms of charity because its original purpose is service to the common good. It has become bad because it has been used by the traffic to conquer the country. Tama? It has been used for personal use, for personal gain, as a business enterprise. So that's what we are trying to check. So, I think you are familiar, we have been working, ako, to Sultan Ako for a long, long time. No, you cannot say it's an issue of power, authority, or influence. As consultants, you don't belong, you can't belong. But it's important if you belong. You have power to, to make decisions. And hindi dapat half-hearted. Naging consultant na lang pa ni Ramos, nung araw na lalo siya. Meron ba kayo? Nag-realize ko pala. You cannot, you can, you can win on that moon. Sana. Sarili. Sarili. You want temporality, you want majority. Kaya, right at the beginning, he has to compromise. He has to come out with a great population. May pera. Kaya niya ako ay yung lakas o tingin sa kalamas trapo. Lahat ng mga maganda na may mga ideas, hindi na masolo kasi we have to compromise right at the beginning. Hindi ko natin na yung proclaim sa tribunal kasi walang majority. Grabe. And I was facilitating his lakas lakas population. He was obliged to compromise with the lakas. And we know the trappers of Judy. Because then, he has no majority. Then when we challenge the trappers, we have to have a majority. We have to continue and selecting the right people. They are very vital. So, it's political. And what's more political is not dirty. It's a thing. It's a vocation. I'd like to to consider it as a lay apostolate. More difficult than the apostolate of a priest. Kaya apart sa ano, kasi namin sa Epimini Circle, sana we can put up a seminary to all of our servants. So that we can choose the best. We can be deserved the best. Okay. Ano ba? To advocate Senate is democratic. The core value of Senate is democracy is human dignity. That is a Christian, very, very big interfaith place. All members of CTA are adhered to this value and develop their advocacies and activities guided by this value. In order to promote and protect human dignity, the members of CTA follow the principles of freedom and responsibility, justice and equal opportunities, solidarity and subsidiarity, tolerance and peaceful country. Now, kung meron kayong mga questions dyan, ito ni Kala yung mga tanong, at dito yung ating panel. Three, the members of CTA consider poverty and the growing inequalities between rich and poor of the youth segments of the Philippine population to be addressed to the fundamental structural reforms. Hindi yung pwede yung kapalang ito, kapal-tapal, kapal-tapal. Interrelated ang problem. And so, the economic system of the Philippines. Sayang hindi natin narinig si Professor Abueva. He was supposed to talk to an emergency sa hospital yung wife niya. Kaya ito lang siya. Pero, klaro-klaro yung analysis niya. Why are we are the poor getting poorer? One, because the crop was like us to be poor. So that you will become dependent to them. And they can buy us your election. Tawa ba? We keep our state weak. We have a weak state to protect our our rights. And precisely because of the patriarchal politics and the purpose why they are there is really for 
controlling also our business. And I have first-hand experience. Magagaling naman. Gusto mag-invest sa Pilipinas. Kaya ang crack may di maligards dito. Kasi ang competition sa kailas. Kaya we cannot create more jobs. And we would prepare a centralized system so that they can control it better. So if possible, step one talaga, we have to get rid of the and we have a window of opportunity in every history na nagpisto yung hypocrisy of all the practices. So this is a great opportunity we have to identify. Kaya kami, Operation Karanalan, ang image namin para si Hugh Ginnis and the last time Look for honest persons. I think that's what we should do. Look for honest persons among us, and who we should support. So you know, so interrelated. So interrelated, interrelated. We need reform of military centralized system. We need to replace the presidential system, which is prone to the misuse of power. Let me explain it a little. Form of government, strong proportion with elements in the world. We need genuinely peaceful political parties. You know, identify them. Programmatic profile, organized, controlled by citizens. We need open markets. You know, not just asking for money. Fair competition, the control of monopolies, cartels, strong state support. We need a reform of our income taxation system, shifting away from the burdens of the hard-working middle class to the very rich and the top of the income pyramid. In order to pursue this advocacy through their legislative agenda, the representatives of the CDA members in Congress will strongly push for what? Adoption of the Freedom of Information Bill. Number B, adoption of the political party reform agenda. C, adoption of the bonds of basic law based on the signed peace agreement between the Philippine government and the IRS. Next, adoption of the anti-trust competition law. Now, what about internal organization of the alliance? So, we will create the National Council. Pero gawa muna tayo ng iba-ibang mga fora. So, kanina patikin lang yung fora natin on on federalism. Kaya we don't have time to really discuss that. Di bang sa fora on federalism, that has to be discussed in a whole day forum. And then we'll get all the forces who are in favor of that. So, and then that will be another pillar that will be strengthened. You are, we are the pillars here for political reforms and uh, electoral reforms. So, Parantaya of Pillars. So, we will create another uh, alliance, the ones uh, with the reason. Those who have Maganda mga ideas on how to, what economic system will be best for the Philippines. Baka in our next forum on and summit on social market economy, we will already discuss and then we will get the best people to discuss it and then we can pull our thoughts together. Those who are feeling ninyo, hindi kayo ang narinig. As I said, sayang sa programa natin, meron ba yung mga manifesto ninyo, please send that to us. And continuous pa rin yung ating dialogue. Meron na tayong Facebook. May Facebook tayo na Centrist Democratic Alliance. So we'll continue our dialogue with that. Okay pa. Now, in all regions of the country, so there will be regional council. So there will be national council. From this fora, from the champions dito, from the heads, then we can we can create a national council. Our city elects our members, chairman, president, vice president, the the regulator. In all regions of the country, regional councils of city will be established successively until summer. Following a more similar to that of the national council. The CDA considers stronger participation of talented young citizens. So, you know, young people are very important in the democratic life of the Philippines to face the factor of the development of the country. The Alliance will arrange therefore a program of civic and political education. 
I will share you of an experience. You know what happened to Brother Roly Bison? You know what happened to the first time voters in all of them? At least, in the last few years, in all of the schools here, in all of the schools here, in all of the schools here, we had a chapel in the church, in the chapel of Dilasal. After our mass, we have friends coming to us, after a good briefing, we have friends coming to us as a blessed sacrament, take the national integrity test. I shall not elect anyone who bribes, who cheats, who lies, who steals, who kills, nor tolerate anyone who does. So from now on, wala na mga who does. Yan, wala na ginagawa na kasi. And in fact, we would like you to ask also you mga to swear before what is ever sacred to you and to really fall serious. And then, bigyan natin kayo later on ng mga inyong alcohol, meron kayong intelligent way of choosing candidates. All of us have our own favorites. But how do you open up your favorites? Meron tayong sistema how to do about this. Ang gagawin natin muna, okay ba yung kandidato ko? Can we pass all the way? It's a pass criteria. Kasi ano yun? By the way, ano ang similarity between hiring a family driver with hiring a mayor or a president? Ano ang kapareho? Kapareho! Ano ang kapareho? You have to get a very reliable person. Tama ba? So, Bisyon na yung driver mo hindi magdanakaw, hindi hold upper, hindi kaskasero, yung susunod sa autos mo. Basically, ganun. When you choose a mayor, ganun din. Especially a president. Tignan mo lang, dapat ganun kang mass criteria. Yung stealing, cheating, nandun na yan sa Bible, nandun na sa lahat ng mga ethical, lahat ng lahat ng mga simahan. Bawal ang cheating, bawal ang giving of innocent people, di ba? Bawal ang lying. How can we still hire people like that? So anyway, and people like that. So talented young chances for the development of the country, therefore a program. Kaya dapat dalawa yung ating model. Yung border situation. Ang tema nila, kung we will follow this, ang mga voters will follow, wala kami kapit kasi mga trap mo na lang ang nandun. Kaya okay, kung ito mag ang alternative. Ang alternative natin sa trap mo, traditional politics, is integrity politics. Okay ba? Okay. Info versus trap mo. That should be the show down for the 2016. Tama ba? Agree kayo yan? Yes. Wala pang tahan. We have to make that it should be travel and very simple. But the next position of alliance in regard to the next elections, the members of alliance will draft a joint strategy within the next month for our participation in 2016. That's it, and the next is June 4. So, I realize that we have to be political, we have to be political, and politics is good. It's really a, it's a really a lay apostolate, it's a really a policy. So the members of the alliance will drop and then the uh, yeah. So, kami ako ng signatory dito. So, kung ready, kung may tulong kayo mga questions, ask now. Then pagkatapos, yung mga leader sa organizations na who are, who are really now, to sign, ilagay natin mag-sign, aside from signing dito sa front, at dito meron na yung tarpaulin, dito natin isa sign. And I will ask later on the media, please take note. Anybody, any questions? Claro ba? What we're entering into. Okay. So with that, Can I ask, kami muna yung mga si Little Lorenzana, 
So uh, since the PI founding president, as I said, we will begin designing this book. Thank you. 
So I guess you can say that that whole thing coming here because it was the full lens is making a mark and I can say no. But more of this for many of us of this alliance. <laughs> Individual, 
Pesta Bodi Gun Esta misión 
Father, so Lord, and Lord, and we have to start the workshop and present the results of the Lord. So, uh, Dr. Rodan will be the moderator for the workshop. Don't worry, it's not really work, it's fine. So it's a chef. <laughs> okay, so let's start. So this is our chance also to give you, we want to give you a chance to talk, to, to share uh, your reactions at the same time. So who are we? You, you mess the table in, and you can you don't need a drop, you'd like to join. So we are going to come to a group and we're going to join. Anong iyong workshop natin ito sa... Na open space technology to. So, we will be able to join any group. Ano yan? Na home, we will be able to work with. Who are you? What are you? What are you? What are we concerned about? Meron ka dyan sa loob? In common. Sa mga nakuha yan? In common. Pinigita. Wala. Because we just say that about what this group was very common. And we're not going to commit to do together. When... Ano ko? Binigyan na. After this seminar, what? And what do you mean to do immediately when? So, and then, uh, after 15 minutes, if you're not ready, you can uh, say that in two minutes we talk. Uh, and then, uh, we will connect to this. And after that, we'll close in the time. And then, some earlier time, we'll close in the time. Okay. So, short action and learning. That really manifests the form. That must manifest the form. Start by the form. What are we concerned about? What do we commit as for? They see, anong concern yun? Okay. Preto. Tarsilia. Tarsilia. From mga ano? Katanay. 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 Hindi ko lang. Akin to, no? Thank you, thank you. If I will join a group, 